Hello, my name is Sydney and I'm the brand designer at Wise Pops. Today I thought I'd show you how to use the pop-up campaign builder and how to design a pop-up of your own. Here is my pop-up that I designed for the contest, which is a St. Patrick's Day themed one since it's right around the corner. So first you go into the campaign builder. I click campaign assistant just to start out with a template. I click a spin to win style because I thought it might be fun to win the pot of gold for St. Patrick's Day. In order to edit text, you can go ahead and double click the text box and type in whatever you'd like. And I did that for a title and a subtitle. Next, you can click to have a background image and I selected a Figma design that I created. You can click the colors and adjust it for the spin to win wheel. So I made them all different shades of green, so that way it will look consistent with the Figma background. And then I also changed the flapper color which is a nice little detail that you can adjust in the builder as well. I changed the color of the buttons by going in the top menu, and you can also change the font, which will be on the far left of the bar when you double click the font. Next, you can change the text color. I decided to make it a dark green to fit with a St. Patrick's Day theme, and I also chose Arvo because I thought it was a fun and modern serif font to fit with the theme. So next, you can change the button color, you can make it one line or two lines, as you can see on the left, and you can also change what it says inside the button. So I made it say spin to win. And then for the closer, you could either use an X, but I decided to write I'm no fun just to keep with the playful look of the pop-up. And you can do that in the left customization column. So I thought the front looked cool, but I wanted to add an image, a pot of gold image that I had created in Figma. So I went to the blocks and selected image, imported my pot of gold, and moved it around just by simply clicking and dragging to get it in the right place. You can make it smaller or larger using the zoom button, and you can adjust it to height or make your own height. So I decided to move it around, but I thought that the pop-up was getting kind of long. So instead, I scrolled down to the left column and clicked multiple columns layout adjusted the width using the size option on the top bar. So I started adjusting where everything would go, making sure that the text is nice and large to take advantage of that two column layout. And then I went to my blocks and added my pot of gold back in there. So I went to image settings, made it a little bit smaller. In order to make things line up, you can click column alignment and pick out where each column item is going to start. So I decided to make sure that both were starting up at the top. I went ahead and readjusted my pot of gold size just so it would fill up that left column. And then I went to go and customize the thank you page, which in this case is the prize reveal. So I replaced the confetti image with my pot of gold to show that they had won the pot of gold, zoomed out to make it a bit smaller. And then I added my background image from the first page changed the font to Arvo, made it bold, and changed the text color. And all of that is up at the top bar. It's super easily accessible while you're designing. You can adjust the font size with the slider or on the right, you can type in a number, but I wasn't quite sure. So in order to experiment, I like to use the font slider. Same with the font color. You can copy and paste the hex codes or you could move the little color indicator around. And if you wanna adjust the image settings, and the height, you can uncheck the adjust height to content and make that height of your image a little bit shorter. You can change the horizontal and vertical position by using the sliders or the text box and zoom it out so that way you can see your image. So I thought that looked pretty cool. So then I decided to preview it on a screenshot of my website, which I just set as the Wise Pops website. To test it out, you could easily do so I just put in a demo email, watched it spin, and boom, I got 10% off, and you can easily copy the code. So then I titled the campaign St. Patrick's, which you can do up the top by just double clicking, and then click Done Editing to go to the customization page back on the Builder site. So you can click Edit at the top right, and you can figure out if you, when you want the pop-up to appear on scroll, on click, 
And also you could have it show after multiple seconds. You can adjust pages, audience, frequency, custom properties, whatever you want. And that's why Wise Pops is so effective because you can really pinpoint who you're going to attract. So thank you for watching this video and I hope it gave you more insight on how to design using the Wise Pops pop-up builder. Happy designing and good luck in the contest!